Hey guys, SmileBC here, and welcome to Beta 27 Rundown. Uh, what? Oh, fuck off. Right in my intro. So, let's just get into it, alright? Yes, we've added gates, finally. And they're pretty cool. And if you say they're not, you're wrong. And we added a whole bunch of them. We've got iron, we've got bronze, orc, wooden cross, I don't know. Dwarven, Galadrim, Gondor, High Elf. Niharad, Wood Elf, and Toradane. Now, to make one of these gates, I'll quickly show you guys the crafting recipe. Whoops, misplaced it. You make gate gears, and with those, you can make a gate. Uh, every gate has its different, really, um, shape and materials. Uh, this one is made for the gate up front. I just used this as an example, but most of them are pretty straightforward if you care enough to think. Now, gates can also be placed, if done correctly, horizontally. And of course, they respond to redstone. We also added tiling blocks, or how I like to call them, Legos. You can do all sorts of great things with Legos. You can build a roof, you can make a pathway. Yeah, all sorts of things. Now to make these Legos, what you need is four clay to make a clay block. Put that clay block into a furnace. Hardened clay comes out, pretty basic. Now with the 400 clay, you make the clay tiling. This is very important that you do this first. And I'm gonna make some right now. There you go. Because you can only color them after. So keep that in mind. You put eight clay tiling around the color you want, and you'll get the result. You also add clover dye, and just a little things. And there we go. You have your blocks. You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot, um, the hardened clay, you cannot dye that before you make the tiling. If you do that, you can't make the recipe, so keep that in mind. We also added Angmar pillars, finally, one, um, uh, Faction I'm quite fond of, of evil, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys will do great things with it. And we added these little cuties, the deer, the deer and the dick dicks. They're finally added. Uh, you can find them pretty much everywhere in the wild. Uh, they're cute, they're cute as hell. And we also added chalk along with its own biome. Uh, it's called the White Downs. It's right next to the Shire. Little cool new area. Um, you can all do all sorts of great things. It looks a lot like Gondor Brick, but it's uh, I believe it's wider. Now of course the deer drop raw venison. Fun venison you can cook it. It um, fills up for hunger or eight. No matter uh, depends how you're looking it. The vanilla updates. Uh, Mavens was kind enough for us to finally do something Mojang never does and make some textures for. Pretty much all the basic uh, vanilla blocks that would need this. Some small farmer updates. Um, farmers now do shit appropriately, so they only uh, farm what's directly below them. And if you put sand under the blocks, they will not start farming there, which is very useful for pumpkin and melon farms uh, and sorts, because that way the farmer won't block its own uh, crops. And that's pretty much it. There isn't much more. Uh, well, there is a lot more. You should probably check in the change log yourself. Oh, and uh, we finally added kebab. How you can make kebab? You can put any kind of meat on there, and it will um, thicken. You can put up to eight. And the way you do it is you put furnace uh, coal in the, or any sort of fuel in the furnace underneath the kebab stand. It will start cooking, and once it's done. It will make a quick 360, and you can pop it off, and it will start cooking again. You can put any kind of meat on this, and uh, the kebab, just like the cooked venison, heals uh, four or eight, uh, depending how you're looking at hunger bars. It's a pretty cool thing. Those were, to me personally, the most important things of Beta 27. I hope you guys enjoy. There is much more to explore, and you can read all that in the changelog. And from the entire mod team, we hope you enjoy Better 27.